God, I just did it again. What the hell? It's just not there today. It's just, I'm going home. All right. <laughs> Call it. No episode. <laughs> Christmas is canceled. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Side by Side Guys Off-Road Podcast. I'm Big Z. And I'm Ian with Full Throttle Battery. And this is our inaugural Holidays Deal episode where we bring you the deals from the industry so that you can come into one place and take a look at the list of deals and find the best fit for you and the best gifts for your UTV loved ones. Got a lot of response. Buckle up. It could be a lengthy one, but we will see. <laughs> Uh, before we jump into it, uh, next episode, we're going to be talking a year in review where uh, we like to pontificate a little bit on the the future and, and whatnot of the UTV industry, but this will be a chance for us to look backwards at the year that we just went through and uh, what that looked like, what that surprises came up and you know how that impacted us. Product releases, new components, uh, shows. Really looking forward to that, kind of covering what we saw over the last year. Yeah, definitely. Like the the shows that we went to and were able to experience the things we saw, for sure. All right, well, let's get into it. Uh, so just to kind of give you a primer on what we did, is went to our social media accounts and contacts and just blast mailed everybody to say, hey, uh, we're going to do this special episode and we want to have one place where the UTV uh, community can go to to watch, listen, read uh, a list of all the different vendors providing Black Friday and holiday deals this season. Um, and it wasn't really a advertisement scheme. We weren't out to make money. We weren't out to look for branding deals. We weren't asking anyone for anything outside of what they were already doing. So this is our attempt to bring um, kind of just the industry-specific deals to this industry-specific community and allow them to uh, quickly connect with those deals and, and better connect with the dealers and vendors that are out there. Yeah. A lot of awesome stuff out there, and uh, the response was fantastic. For sure. And, you know, it's funny when I did that, you know, it's it kind of a state of the mindset in the industry is, you know, the first thing they see is, well, how much money do you want? Like, we don't want any money. This is not what that is. We're we want to talk about some cool stuff. We want to see what's out there and, and where we can save the community money. So uh, <clears throat> one of the we kind of group these into little topical groups of different vendors. So uh, you'll notice that some of them are similar to each other as we go through these, but that's because we kind of grouped them together. So uh, first uh, on my list was Onyx Off-Road. And if you don't know who Onyx Off-Road is, uh, they're pretty popular in the iPad mapping uh, app space. Hunting. And hunting. Big time. Big time in hunting. So they're, their claim to fame is that they have all the the marked and unmarked land territories covered where you wouldn't normally have that because in hunting, you're walking through people's land, right? Right. Uh, I've, I've got their app. You zoom in on my property. It says my name's got contact information, which I love being available on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> so it's pretty detailed. Yeah, so uh, they've they've kind of made a, a headway into the off road world, seeing that that's just a natural extension of what sure. they do, and uh, so they are offering free access to their normally subscription service. Um, so to free to uh, iOS users. So if you have an iPad, iPhone, uh, you would be able to use their service for free uh, up and through. Cyber Monday weekend. So that Saturday following Cyber Monday, you'd be able to use their service and their mapping um, software for free uh, on iOS. They didn't say specifically if that was available on Android, though they do have an Android app. I think the promotion, I believe, is only for iOS. So if you're going out hunting, that, that's another opportunity for you to get some value out of that. If you're taking your, your uh, utility vehicle out with you to, to haul the meat back. So that's a pretty cool deal. Even if it's just, you know, a simple branch out from them, it's it's still free uh, subscription service that you would normally have to pay for. Next up was Rugged Radios, reached out to them, said, hey, you know, are you guys going to do any specials on your website? And they came back with a pretty nice promotion. So they're going to have uh, their intercom, their in-car intercom system with 60 watt radios. Uh, so you can talk to head to head in the car, and then you can also push to talk outside of the car. Um, 60 watts is pretty much the biggest you're going to get on a mobile device. Mine on my YXZ was a 25 watt, and you could, depending on the conditions, depending on uh, the terrain, you could stretch that out anywhere from about two miles out to five. 
Yeah, so. you're definitely you definitely have reach with that, especially if you have the correct antenna. Which with the kits, they come with everything. Right. Um, and so they're going to be offering those for thirty percent off during the Black Friday, Cyber Monday holidays, um, as well as their uh, RH5R handheld radios. So if you uh, don't know what those are, go take a look at our stocking stuffers list. We actually have that on our list. Um, we had it on our list before we saw this deal too. So it wasn't even like a conjunction thing. Yeah. Those things are super handy. We've got, uh, I've got about three of those. And if you're doing any sort of filming while you're out running around like sand dunes, those things are pretty critical to have on hand. And for sure. I mean, com- communication is always overlooked in right. the, uh, in the side-by-side world. And I can't express enough how important it is to know that there's a truck up ahead on the trail or to know that there's a big dropout on the other side of that dune or, you know, hey, we're stuck over here with a blown belt. Can you come help? Yeah, you see that five watt on so many people at King of Hammers. Like my first year at King of Hammers, I, I saw people wandering around with that five watt like you wouldn't believe. Just right. I would probably like maybe even 10% of the people that you come across. Mm-hmm. So. And uh, just so that everybody knows, uh, if, you, if you're if you not real familiar with the radio space, uh, when they say five watts, that's only on a handful of channels uh, that's been licensed by the FCC. Then there's another group of channels that's, uh, I believe, 2 watt and 3 watt. And then there's another group that's half watt, which is the normal consumer frequencies. Right. And rugged stuff comes all pre-programmed. It's super convenient. Right. And that's the nice thing about rugged radios, right, is that uh, they're there to ease the introduction to the radio space as much as possible. They're there to help you and walk you through everything you need to know, as well as give you the tools and the presets to make it all easy to jump right in. Exactly. The other benefit of that is with such a good market saturation down the race scene, like you can go to any race and just start tuning in and listening to, you know, different race conversations, things like that. Um, so that's always fun to do. It's that whole NASCAR mentality where you show up and are able to kind of dive right in. The next up was Factor 55. If you don't know who they are, they're a, a recovery uh, vendor. They make shackles and ropes and um, fair leads and all sorts of different stuff that go along with winching and recovery. And they're going to be doing a Black Friday, Cyber Monday deal with 10% off site wide, which is, um, you know, 10% is not a lot, but it's definitely more than the tax you're going to be paying on that product. Yeah, I've had uh, visibility on some of their gear. I've never used it before, but um, some of the stuff that you put at the, some of the shackle stuff that you put on the front of your UTV looks like it's uh, capable of towing around a neighbor's sure. tank. Yeah, yeah, it's overkill. The nice thing Seriously is that they have, tough stuff. they have the different style um, connections at the end of the lead, right? So um, the the big ones that I, I recommend are um, the Fairlinks or the, the closed looping stuff. They do have universal hooking uh, options as well. So you can hook on to uh, a, a shackle somebody else has or, or maybe a mounting point on a frame. But they also have the closed loop options, which I really like, where you put a soft shackle through and then extend it with a recovery rope or chain or whatever you have to do um but their their stuff is top notch and the the one thing about factor 55 that i really really like and becoming from a nerd mindset they have data on all their stuff they're not reselling china they're not doing just bulk buy and bulk resell they're actually making the stuff in the united states you know they're milling it out cnc uh, and then they're doing pull tests on everything they're doing shackle break points they're doing um, all that stuff. So uh, when Factor 55 puts their rating on it, that is a certified scientific number that was authenticated and validated by the FCC and and all that stuff. So it's a great option um, for anyone that's looking for great um, certified gear. No question. Next up, we have a GeForce Offroad. Uh, their Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals. Any GeForce branded products off their website is fifteen percent off, and uh, with the product code Side by Side Guys. So S X S Guys, all lowercase because it is case sensitive. All one word. All one word. Um, but any product that they have that is actually branded GeForce, you will receive fifteen percent off. That's an awesome deal. It is an awesome deal. A lot of seat stuff, a lot of helmet stuff. Uh, oh, my gosh. Bags, you name it. They've got a lot to sift through. Where are they located out of? Atlanta, Georgia. Georgia. Yeah. So and shipping should be fairly reasonable on the, the Midwest, East Coast, and then yeah. fairly affordable for Absolutely. the West Coast. And we're going to circle back on that because some of the recommendation stuff that we have, I have a couple GeForce products that I want to talk about. So, uh, cool. yeah, they make, a, they make great quality products. Cool. Next up is Power Tank. If you don't know who Power Tank is, Power Tank has made a huge splash in the Jeep scene the last five years or so. Uh, they are um, uh, they're known for 
uh, their CO2, or the C- CO2 canisters uh, that mount in the back of their Jeeps, allowing you a uh, air up point on your vehicle to fill up tires after you've aired down to rock crawl or sand climb or whatever you're doing. Uh, and it gives you a way to fill up those tires and they can fill up 37 inch bead locks, all that kind of stuff. They can set beads with them. They have a high rate of flow on them. And, uh, they're, it's a really nice solution for anyone looking for a, um, um, non-moving parts solution to filling tires. Um, so we're looking at about 10% off a discount, uh, Black Friday through Cyber Monday, uh, 10, 10% off $250 orders. Uh, 15% off of orders over $500 and 20% off of orders over $700. So if you're fine, if you're buying, if you already have a kit and you're just buying accessories, you're going to get a little bit of savings. If you're buying a full kit, you can get even more savings. So that's a great option. And with those kits, they're fairly heavy. I mean, you're talking about a steel tank. So um, having free shipping on that is a great deal, especially if you're all the way across the country or in a place where normally shipping is uh, a little spendy. Yeah. Next up, we have Axia Alloys. If you don't have any experience with Axia Alloys, I implore you to go to their website. It is axiaalloys.com. Um, Thanksgiving Day through Cyber Monday, they have 15% off the site wide. They have free shipping as well. I've got a little experience with Axia Alloys, specifically uh, fuel storage. I used their products uh, when we ran the Washington Backcountry Discovery Route, and uh, I was packing an extra six gallons of gas. You're talking about uh, 680 miles through the Cascade Mountains, some of the most violent terrain known to man ranging from speeds from 10 miles an hour to 70 miles an hour and those things did not move an inch i was very very impressed with it got so were you, were, of, use, you were using mounts for rotopax rotopax or? yeah yeah okay. i've got a lot of confidence in their in their equipment yeah they have a really high quality aluminum based setup and they're really well known for their low profile um bar clamps and things like that unbelievably easy to install yep yeah. and uh super tough they have a lot of neat little accessories to go with your unit as well uh on our uh, 2019 stock and stuffers recommendations list we put their dome light kit on there um it was you know if, if you've never been stuck in the middle of the dark trying to figure out where to go next like you'll understand why you need a light if yeah. you're in that situation yep. so having that's really nice especially when your phone's on 20 percent battery and you're trying to save it for gps reasons <laughs> <Been there. laughs> um you know having having something that's not dedicated to a mobile device is, is super nice so next up is savage utv um, if you've been under a rock the last year in the utv world on social media you might not know who they are but uh they are the manufacturers of the f- first and only i believe rugged utv belt case uh, that is a protective airtight watertight case for your utv belt um, that mounts to your roll cage or anywhere else on the vehicle uh, they're going to be doing a 30 percent off uh, site-wide coupon for uh, all their stuff uh, using copa coupon code black friday all one word um, and then black friday through friday the 6th which is basically the end of the week on cyber monday uh, cyber, cyber week uh, they're going to be doing 20 percent off of uh, Sa- uh, Savage UTV products and then 20% off of Trinity Racing belts and gear that they have on their website as well using uh, the coupon code Xmas19. And I noticed when we were making our recommendations, you and I weren't talking to each other. We were just independently filling this stuff out about yep. what our recommendations were. And both of us picked that Savage UTV case. It, uh, it's very compact, very well thought out. Yep. Yeah. And uh, we have a video coming up here soon where I've actually torture tested those UTV cases, uh, belt cases. And uh, just, it, Matt, if you're listening, I'm sorry the video is so late. I really do apologize. We're going to get it done. Um, but uh, it's going to come out here uh, shortly. And I, we did it. We torture tested that case. We took it out, threw it off cliffs, uh, ran it into the trees, um, ran over it at like half a mile an hour and twisted the front wheels on it like... We were pretty brutal on it, and uh, needless to say, it's a it's still it's, intact. It's still intact and a great product. So fantastic! Um, yeah, really looking forward to that. So next up is Agency Six. Uh, again, one of those ma- recovery manufacturers that many people have probably not heard of unless they're in the rock crawling scene. Uh, they make a number of different uh, aluminum billet aluminum type recovery uh, options. Um, they uh, make just simple recovery accessories and things like that, but they also make two-inch receivers and um, shackles and a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, they're going to be doing 15% off site-wide Black Friday through Cyber Monday. So that's a nice 
uh, easy way to get into some of those aluminum billet aluminum accessories that um, otherwise would be normally really pricey. All right, next up is Double Lot. Uh, if you don't know who Double Lot is, they are based out of Idaho and they make um, a lot of uh, UTV gear that is based out of the uh, acrylic, like the polycarbonate uh, panels. So they make windows, uh, rear windows, uh, w sun shields, things like that. Uh, they're not really, um, I wouldn't say that they're a high end premium custom window manufacturer, but they're somebody that makes affordable products that work really well. So if you're looking for a trail rig that needs like a half windshield and a rear windshield just to kind of help keep the dust out of the cab, um, things like that, they'll have you covered as long with um, like tinted roofs and things like that. They've uh, come out, re I think last week or the week before they came out with a sun visor that complements a half windshield so that you get a sl smaller wind gap, but you also have that sun uh, glare option. But the reason I like, uh, their products is they are one of the only people out there doing the, uh, inserts for the RS one. So if you're driving an RS one and you have that dip in the door to see your front wheels, uh, that's a great option to rock crawl and do things, but it's horrible when you're out in the mud or racing and you have all that, uh, turf coming up into your line of sight. And, uh, so they do the acrylic, uh, windows that go in them, allowing you to maintain that visibility, uh, but also, uh, protect you from all that, uh, roost. All right. So next up is 509. So if you're not familiar with 509, uh, it's our area code. It's where we live. Yeah. We know those guys. Yeah. Uh, and that's a company that makes, um, uh, snowmobile gear and accessories but they've also been making off-road gear and accessories um helmets goggles uh outerwear boots uh gloves yeah a little uh peek behind the curtain if i were to tee up a golf ball and drive it with the one wood i could probably hit their parking lot from where we're recording the show right <laughs> right now. from where we're at yeah, yeah. <laughs> if we open up the blinds we can see right. uh 509 headquarters so um I used to actually work there and uh, no longer focus on side by side guys and excited to be here doing my thing. Uh, but thought I'd bring them into uh, the fold here. They are they do what they do every year, which is a 20 percent off all their black their black fire themed products. So every year they come out uh, with a colorway of their helmets, their goggles, shirts, things like that. They're that are, that are called black uh fire uh they're typically like a black with orange or something like that on it uh but those individual colorways will be 20 percent off during the black friday and cyber week um holidays so uh if you're looking for a, a really really sharp looking helmet or goggle set uh, or both they do a 25 dollars discount on a combination so not only can you get discounts but you can get combo discounts as well they make killer shades too. They make awesome sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. my favorite uh, sunglasses are the uh, the Whippets. So um, get those too. Yeah, we can find that at ride509.com. Yep. And along with your purchase, they're also doing a 20 free gifts. So when you go to checkout, you'll have a list of 20 things that you'll be able to uh, also add to your cart for free. Uh, one of those 20 gifts, and it usually includes either a beanie, a hat, t-shirt, um, calendar, things like that, um, DVDs of um, their snowmobile films, things like that. So if you're uh, kind of in the down season and realize that your helmet is junk, and after 15 years, you should probably get a new one or you're sick of wearing sunglasses and want an actual goggle that will protect your eyesight, keep the dust out, keep the fog out, um, check out their goggles um, and they'll set you up pretty good. Next up, I have Hayes Fabrication. If you don't know who they are, you probably don't live in the southeast. Um, they are real big in the mud scene with their uh, headlight kits and taillight kits. Uh, they do uh, bracket systems that allow you to put pod lights into your headlights instead of uh, using the OEM lighting. Uh, so you can do like a rigid light or you could do some sort of aftermarket cube instead of the standard OEM lights. Uh, they're going to be doing 10% off site wide. And if you uh, mention side by side guys by using the code side by side guys, uh, you'll get an additional 5% off. So uh, not only will you get a 10% savings, you'll also get the additional five totaling 15% um, off of your purchase of lighting brackets or kits. Um, and they look pretty sharp. So I'm hoping to maybe get some in for, for a review soon. So yeah, look forward to that. 
All right, next up we have Empire Industries, and they are known pretty well in the off-road space uh, for dirt bikes and and quads for their exhausts, and they've been coming uh, more and more popular in the side-by-side world. Uh, they have a number of different really good-looking uh, exhaust kits, um, slip-on exhausts, and they even have um, silence options as well. So a lot of us like the big, loud, throaty exhaust for performance and muscle uh, but there's a lot of guys that are out uh, either hunting or in areas where they don't want to upset neighbors in the in the areas around them, um, and they want a quieter exhaust, and they do have a lot of those options. So that's a really great place for you to look if you're looking for a quieter muffler or even just a really great-looking muffler. I think they, they have one of the best-looking mufflers. Um, they're doing a Black Friday through Cyber Week, 20% off all exhausts with free shipping over $200, which is any exhaust kit. At all, on their site. So um, if you're looking for a new exhaust, that would be the place to go. Yep. Next up is Pedal Commander. They, uh, you can find them at pedalcommander.com. So Pedal Commander has a deal for Thanksgiving week, $50 off using the product code Black Friday, free two-day shipping. And they have a separate promotion from Thanksgiving through Cyber Monday, 20% off, free two-day shipping. If you're not familiar with Pedal Commander, make sure you check out that website. It has an override between the throttle and the ECU. We're going to get our hands on some of their product, hopefully install it on the X3 and beat on it. Yeah. Do a little review of it. So yeah, definitely. It can it basically allows you to customize the throttle response of your of your gas pedal. So pretty sweet unit. Yeah, for sure. Uh, next up is Alba Racing. Alba Racing. If you're not familiar with Alba Racing, you did not ride a Yamaha Banshee way back in the day. They've been around forever and a day. <laughs> uh, TeamAlbaRacing.com, and uh, their promotion is Black Friday through the Cyber Week, fifty percent off all of their ECU reflashes. So let that sink in. That is a pretty smoking deal. That's a pretty hot deal. Yeah, and those guys are very, very active in the YXZ community. Um, high performance. I, I would recommend checking them out if you run a Yamaha. So, and they anything on their website. I mean, they've got virtually everything you can shake a stick at as it pertains to the YXC. You've got cams, you've got exhaust, you've got everything. Yeah, Alba Racing's not just an accessory company. They they actually do performance parts for almost everything. Like if you race with it, they have a part for it. And so uh, check them out. Yeah. Next up is Boondogger Turbos. They're our neighbor to in uh, southern Idaho. Um, they're running some. They're running a lot of deals for this week. Uh, Thanksgiving through out of stock, they have twenty percent off in stock UTV products uh, as it pertains to the Polaris RZR. This is uh, this includes an exhaust for the XP one thousand, exhaust for the XP Turbo. You've got turbo kits for the XP one thousand, the Dominator. If you don't know the Dominator, get on YouTube and check that out. You can see how the per, uh, how that thing performs. It's very very impressive. Uh, Dominator Turbo Upgrade for the XP Turbo, Dominator uh, Turbo for the RS1. I, man, how bad would you want to drive that car? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's the first thing any racer oh says gosh. is, I want an RS1 with yeah, turbo in it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's 50, uh, 54 millimeter turbo kit, 30% off. Uh, that is with an email or a phone call in only. Uh, as it pertains to the Can-Am X3, it's a relatively new product. We got to see a little bit of it at UTV Takeover in Coos Bay. Uh, the Trident muffler with the downpipe, the Dominator Diablo, intercooler, clutch liner. I've seen some videos of it. I did see the car that they upgraded the turbo on. And to quote one of my buddies, from Rugged Radio, it is a missile. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah, very, very fast. I want to say, I'm not even going to quote a horsepower number, but I've seen some video of them running that Can-Am around St. Anthony. And uh, missile, rocket, yeah, crazy yeah. fast. And in the in the world of, too. In the world of high-end turbo kits, you know, you, you got players like Boondocker, Evo, and others. Uh, and definitely the, the thing that's interesting about Boondocker is they're not necessarily always the fastest off the line, but it's like, Half a second later, they get some momentum going. <laughs> like they've stretched their legs out already, and they're yeah. ready to take over. Yeah. So those are some pretty awesome kits. Yeah. Uh, being a Can Am owner, we're we're a little spoiled. I gotta admit. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of horsepower potential on that car, no doubt about it. There's still some overhead on those oh, on those three cylinders for sure. Yeah, yeah. All right. Next up is MRT Tires. If you're not familiar with MRT Tires, they are actually the manufacturer for the Pro Armor series of tires, uh, the Crawler XGs, XRs, Dual Threats, all that. They also have a full line of their own tires. They're not just the manufacturer for reselling, uh, but they're working with Summit Racing, um, SummitRacing.com. If you're not familiar with Summit, you have not been in the automotive industry for very long. Uh, pretty much everybody orders something from them at some point in their life. Uh, they sell everything for cars, trucks, off-road, Jeeps, and UTVs. So uh, they're working with Summit specifically. 
to do 15% off of light truck and Jeep tires. So if your tow rig is in need of tires, this is a great time to buy them from Summit. Uh, and you're also getting 10% off of all MR, other MRT tires and products as well. And that is Black Friday through Cyber Week. Um, if you're talking about Black Friday through the end of the year, they're actually doing a gift card promotion so if you buy a gift card, you're going to get 15% of that value off of the purchase price. So if you're buying a $100 gift card, um, you can buy that $100 for $85. So that's a pretty sweet deal. Um, so that $100 uh, can then be turned into more than that if you want to. So if you're still spending that $100, you're going to be providing even more value to the person that's going to be getting it. Uh, you have to buy that specifically through uh, our contact, Chad, with MRT Tires. Um, you can call them at 608-412-0540 or email them at chad at motoracetire.com. And we'll put that information on the website uh, as well. Um, so that's a nice... Uh, Nice little thing. I mean, you could even technically buy yourself gift cards if you want to save right. that fifteen percent. Right. Uh, so if you're not able to buy right away and you need to get through the holiday recovery uh, season, uh, you can then buy uh, through the end of the year. Um, next up is all thing you all things UTV. Uh, they're doing a Black Friday special at fifteen percent off uh, most of the items on their website using the coupon code Black Friday, and that's all things things with a Z. UTV.com. And we're going to close it out with our three buddies here in the Pacific Northwest. Um, we'll start with Addiction Power Sports Northwest. Their website is addictionpowersportsnw.com. They've got a bunch of deals going on right now. 10% off the Rough Country lift kits, 10% off sec Sector 7 lighting products. If you're not familiar with them, crazy quality product. Uh, billet, uh, Pro Moto Billet uh, lighted rear view mirrors. I had some on my YXE and... Uh, absolutely punished them and they barely showed anywhere whatsoever. 25% uh, off rugged radio products, $100 rebate on BF Goodwrench tires for UTV, 15% off Super ATV products and and there's free shipping on that. 10% off full throttle batteries. Hey, 10% hey <laughs> 10 off Trinity products and free shipping and uh, Hunter seats for 275 non-heated and 350 heated. I haven't tried the whole heated seat thing on the UTV and the older I get, the more I'm interested in it. Yeah, uh, <sighs> the entire store is 10% off on, Bla on Black Friday. So I, I would absolutely implore you, check it out. Addiction Power Sports, NW.com. We've got a product review that we're doing on, uh, they sent me, uh, so with the Can-Am, the Can-Am stock battery is a little 20 amp hour, which is drastically underpowered. Barbie Jeep. Barbie Jeep. They, uh, they sent us a Can-Am adapter kit so we can actually double our battery capacity ma by making use of one of our full throttle products and look for that in the future. We're going to be putting in a, a full throttle battery into my X3, do an install video on it on their product. So uh, next up is Superior Motorsports. SuperiorMotorsport.com. Superior hash motorsport.com and uh we've uh they've got deals on deals on deals uh can-am grills 65 dollars polaris rzr xp turbo grills 85 dollars and then they're cages so cages for a two-seater intrusion bars whip mounts harness tabs bead rolled roof 1400 dollars raw 1625 powder coated and then for the four seaters with intrusion bars harness brackets rear upper ground handles and whip tabs they're sixteen hundred dollars raw eighteen hundred dollars power uh powder coated and if you make a referral and for a cage sale you will get a 50 50 gift certificate from superior and also if you actually buy a cage from superior and mention side by side guys you will get a free t-shirt as well and uh, as we found out about an hour ago they are also running a promotion on the trio exhaust for the x3 if i remember correctly it was uh was 15 or 20 percent uh, i think it was 20 yeah, 20 percent off um that is an exhaust system that we will get into a little bit later but uh yeah absolutely check check out superiormotorsport.com they're based in Eugene, Oregon. Little fun fact about Superior Motorsport. Uh, when I went to the Sand Sport Super Show down in uh, Costa Mesa, California, of all the builds at that event, my favorite, there was a white and red RZR Turbo S four-seater that was in the SSV booth that was built by Superior Motors that was... Oh, they built the SSV? Oh, well, yeah, it was... Uh, 
we'll just say it was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Looks so good. It looked like it looked like something that might have been made in Italy by a Ferrari or Lamborghini. It was so hot, just ridiculous. Yeah, it's a good looking machine. Yeah, and then our buddies Octane Toy Box up in uh, Arlington, two locations: Arlington and Sumner, Washington. Uh, they've got deals on deals. I would check out their website at octanetoybox.com. You're going to see deals on fire extinguisher mount combos, uh, dragon fire harnesses, K- KFI winch kits, wheel or tire discounts all over the place. Uh, and all LED lighting. And just for clarification, Addiction Motorsports, Superior Motorsports, Octane Toy Box on, on their website, or if you walk into the store, all three of them are offering currently for about the next, I want to say it's two weeks to the next month, that you will get full throttle batteries off at 10%. So if you're looking to up your battery game, that's that, now's the time to do it. Up your battery game. It's not, battery deals don't come around that often. So. No, they don't. They absolutely don't. So just wanted to reiterate and clarify, you know, we went into this with the idea that we wanted to just help the community find great deals to find the right fit for what they're doing on their builds this holiday season and to potentially bring uh, some ideas for people to uh, buy things for others and to get a good deal on it. We went out, we approached all of the vendors and all the retailers and, you know, on social media and email and Facebook, uh, just asked them, hey, we're going to be doing this podcast. What kind of Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals are you doing? Uh, we're not looking to have advertising or you guys pay us to mention your name or anything like that. This is completely hundred percent honest. Hey, what deals are you doing? Let us know. We'll regurgitate that, spit that back out and help the community find um, the right purchasing decision for them. So uh, again, just want to reiterate, this is not an advertisement. This is not us pushing one brand over another. This is not me saying my buddy works there and I want you to buy stuff from him. This is 100% honest, just us trying to find good deals and bring them to the community. So uh, we're happy to do it. We're happy to help uh, just the community out. And um, yeah, so that was fun. It was a lot of work getting that done. Um, I sent hundreds of emails and contacts and things like that. Yeah, and thank you very much to everybody that responded. Yeah, so for all the partners that jumped on board and sent us their deals ahead of time, uh, we appreciate their honesty and getting those uh, over to us and not asking more of us uh, in return. Uh, and uh, we look forward to next year being a little bit more prepared, uh, the dealers and vendors understanding what we're doing so that they're uh, more willing to uh, open up with us and help the community find better deals and um, and be a part of their program so that we can uh, just, once again, connect the consumer with the dealer to get the right product for the right unit at the right price. All right, so next up, we're going to talk about our Christmas stocking stuffer suggestions. We just pushed out this article on Friday. Uh, on our website and uh, pushed it out to the to the social medias and all the places. And uh, what this was is, again, an honest, just upfront list from us to recommend things that we've found useful or uh, a great deal and of value to the community. So uh, these items were not sponsored. They were not paid for. They weren't put here or pushed by any vendor. Uh, these were from our mouths to the screen. So uh, first up, I have the UTV Wolfpack Alpha Multi-Tool. Um, if you've been following us for the last year, uh, you'll know that I did a steering wheel review of the Polaris, or I'm not the Polaris, the uh, Pro Armor Force 13-inch uh, steering wheel. Um, and to get that off of the OEM uh, steering column, uh, it, there are a uh, forced spline uh, connection. So you have to remove them with either a steering wheel puller or a three-jaw uh, with some adapters or something like that it gets really cumbersome um, especially with the the OEM plastic shrouding and stuff around the steering wheels uh, can be kind of a headache and so uh, UTV Wolfpack uh, made a simple little tool it's a block of aluminum that sits on top of the the steering column splines and then it has two screws that go into the steering wheel and all you do is just crank down on the center bolt and then eventually just pulls it right off it's a really simple elegant tool for the job. Um, it's not universal to all steering wheels and steering columns. It's just for um, the uh, Polaris OE and Can-Am OE steering wheel and, and steering columns. Uh, and then once you install a new steering wheel, whatever new hub that you put on there is not compatible with the tool. So um, it's kind of a one-use thing. And I think they uh, they saw some opportunities to improve that tool, uh, and they came out with the Alpha tool. And that tool is, again, a steering wheel puller for the OE, Polaris, and Can-Am steering wheels. Uh, but then it becomes also, uh, you put a, a, a bolt through it, and it becomes a clutch 
uh, sheave separator for the guys using the quarter 20 turning uh, sheave separator tools. Uh, that would be like the Polaris turbos. That'd be the Can-Am X3s. Um, and I think there's someone else that does that. I just can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, so you can open up your clutch sheaves when you blow a belt. And then uh, it's also a bottle opener. So while you're digging out the shreds and shards of uh, your previous life of a belt uh, and you're getting ready for the new one, you can pop a bottle and, and enjoy a refreshing drink while you're doing that as well. Great. Uh, next up, we have the Rugged Radio RH5R, a little handheld 5-watt. I've got a ton of experience with this product. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've got three of them. All three of mine have the uh, the upgraded battery, the upgraded antenna. Uh, i trying to think of everything that I've done with mine. It's fallen out of my UTV, has not been ran over yet. Um, we've used them for filming content. We've used them around events. They're extremely handy. It all comes pre-programmed. Um, yeah, I've, I've actually submerged mine underwater at one point and, uh, <laughs> I don't recommend that. They're not waterproof. Let's be clear. They are not waterproof. By goodness. It still functions though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've beat the tar out of mine, uh, over the last roughly about that we're going on three years and, uh, they hold up excellent. Yeah, and just to be clear, I hear a lot of people always like dog on different radio brands, um, rugged PCI others, uh, for not being waterproof. Uh, and I challenge you to go to the, to any, outdoors store and compare a waterproof to non-waterproof radio the ra- the way that they make the radios waterproof is they have to seal them completely and to do that you're losing all definition of the microphone and the speaker and because of that waterproofing um, if you put those radios side by side uh, that waterproof radio will be half as loud will be half as clear and will be a horrible experience compared to one that's not waterproof. Right. So right. Um, definitely uh, a great tool uh, for anything that you're doing outside. And one of my biggest complaints that I have when I go out on big group rides is a lack of communication. For sure. Yeah. If, if you don't have um, some sort of communication kit uh, hardwired into your car or some sort of handheld, you're really ris- missing out on the overall experience of your ride. It's a safety concern in some instances. And uh, the guys that always get lost are the ones without radios as well. So right. uh, it <laughs> the, is one that, the one that always goes yeah, off trail, yeah. off the off the path is the one that doesn't have any way to communicate. And just, you know, for the record, any handheld is going to be very hard to hear over audio, over your machine while sure. you're going down the trail. And uh, Rugged does also offer kits where you can uh, wire it into your helmet. You can actually just put uh, uh, basically like an ear controller, which is very similar to what I have on right here. Um, I recommend that you do that. It, your riding buddies will thank you. For sure. And even if you're not talking and communicating back and forth, if you're not doing push to talk or anything like that, uh, just simply knowing is half the battle. And so if if there's a, a trail, a, a guide in the front of the of the trail group that you're with, and he says, hey, a couple trucks coming down the path, um, space out, give them room. Just knowing that fact will either one, uh, make your experience better and save you the pucker moment, or uh, two, it's going to save your life. So absolutely, uh, absolutely, highly recommended. Communication is very critical when you're on the trail. All right. So next up uh, is a spare UTV belt. So it's not necessarily a specific product. We're not saying to uh, buy uh, a specific belt uh, brand or type of belt from a brand. Uh, but um, I'm a personal big fan of OEM belts. Uh, we have a unit uh, with Uncle Ben that has over to 2,400 miles or so on a belt. Uh, that story and video coming soon. So look forward to that. Um, and I've gone through myself three, four different units now and never have had to replace a OEM belt. So proper maintenance and all that goes into a UTV belt. But there is a day and there is a time and there is a moment where your belt will blow or become useless. And uh, that moment in time, you really don't want to be without one if you're out on the trails, you're on the dunes, or anywhere else where you can be stranded. So having a spare belt is a perfect stocking, stocking stuffer for anybody that um, you just don't really know what to, to buy them. I guarantee you if uh, your loved one has a, a UTV and you buy them a belt and they already have a spare belt, they're not going to be upset with you for sure. <laughs> and so uh, belts, you know, they're at a hundred bucks plus uh, for, a, for a UTV belt. So um, it's always a good value and a good uh, point of goodwill to that person because uh, I don't think anyone will ever be upset that they got a spare belt. For sure. 
Uh, next up, we have the Sector 7 accessory mount. Sector 7 are our buddies in uh, southern Idaho. So the accessory mount's very universal. Fire extinguisher, whips, radios, the whole ball of wax. Uh, it fits absolutely wonderfully in a stocking, and it is I would go so far as to say bulletproof. You know, it's pretty robust. Yeah, very self-explanatory, universal mount, and it'll go. Uh, if I remember correctly, it will fit anything from 1.25 all the way up to two inches. Over two inches. Over two inches. Yeah, I think Over it goes up inches. to two and a half. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very handy, and uh, we take safety serious here. Fire extinguisher mounts. Uh, very critical. Very. Yeah. Critical. So they, especially for riding in the mountains. Their mirrors and fire extinguisher mounts are top notch. So if you're in the market, take a look at them. Uh, the accessory mount is definitely uh, recommended in the idea and concept of a lot of these machines have custom cages, custom roofs, custom windows, uh, custom lighting, all those different things that uh, a lot of times won't allow you to have a full, fully wrapped bracket to hold something on. So if you've got a windshield that's close to the cage, you can't necessarily put a quarter inch thick bracket around the cage bar to put your mirrors on or your, or whatever, or just the simple fact that you have zip tied wires up the side of the cage or something like that. Um, and this open side clamp style accessory mount uh, solves 99% of everybody's problems. So uh, it's an expensive mount, but it's definitely uh, one of those things where um, kind of like a watch, you're, you can give them a plain Jane watch or you can give them the, the nice, pretty shiny watch and they're going to always be um, excited to have that option. Insanely quality product. Everything that Sector 7 makes is ridiculously good quality. Anybody in the UTV industry will tell you that that's run their products. Yep. All right, so uh, next up we have the Grip Pro Lock and Ride Anchors. Now, these are not like, Grip Pro is not a big UTV brand. Grip Pro is not a big brand of anything. They are one of those uh, Amazon, out of China resellers of things that people want. So there's these companies, they go out, they figure out what the, mar what the market wants and needs, and they kind of bundle solutions together and then sell them for really cheap on Amazon. But what this is, is uh, a lock and ride compatible for Polaris UTVs uh, mounting point where you can uh, simply push it down in the socket, turn it a few times, it gets tight because it squeezes the rubber and the rubber expands, uh, and then it instantly provides you mount points um, on your UTV. So if you've got our Polaris Razor or a Sportsman, a Quad, or uh, I think a Ranger or something like that, any of those Polaris vehicles that have the lock and ride system, uh, these will be compatible with. And I can't tell you how many times I've tried to put a strap hook into the locker ride holes and they don't fit or, you know, whatever, uh, trying to mount stuff or hold stuff down. And there was no ring to actually put a hook into. They give you these holes for these lock and ride things and they don't, they never work. So, right. uh, these are a great option. I think they were like, uh, 22 bucks for a six pack. So you get one in each hole and then, uh, you can simply take them out if you don't want them, put them back in when you want them. Uh, but they make tying down and securing your storage and luggage, uh, pretty effortless. Yeah. Uh, next up we have the Axia Alloys LED dome light kit. I am a battery guy, Zach. What do you think I absolutely love about this product? This product is wireless. It's wireless. It runs off a micro USB, so it will not. It's not connected to your battery, and it will not drain your battery. So mount it to your cage, mount it uh, wherever it makes sense to mount that thing, and it will run on itself. Powered, um, no drain on the battery. Like I said, if there's one thing that is very irksome, it is parasitic draws, and this will not be one of them. If you never run a dome light, I insist you give it a try. They're awfully <laughs> handy, especially when you're dropping stuff out of your pocket onto the floorboard. Incredibly handy. Yeah, if you're a family man and you take your family with you, uh, I would say about at least two, three times an hour, you're looking around on the floorboards for something somebody's dropped. Uh, not to mention the fact that you need to look at maps or just various other things. And uh, having a dome light solves all those problems when yeah. you're in the dark. So, And if you're running a half door like in the uh, Can-Ams and the Polaris's, good luck looking for whatever it was that got dropped. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can look all you want. You'll just you never can, find it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the Axia Alloys uh, dome light kit is, again, using their th thin low profile uh, roll cage mounts and then the light itself is removable uh, it's pushed to turn on and off uh, and rechargeable so it's just a really awesome solution yeah it looks like a quick disconnect as well so it comes on and off very quickly and if you've yep. got a droid cord you can charge it yep all right next we have the ram tough claw uh, gopro mount so if you were to ask them this is not a gopro mount they're not legally allowed to say that 
but because I am somebody doing commentary, I am going to say GoPro mount. Uh, so what this is, is the tried and true RAM mount system. Uh, they start with their Tough Claw, which is a robust and strong uh, fiber reinforced uh, composite claw that you can uh, simply, using a wing nut, tie it, tighten down on any bar of any size, uh, depending on the clamp size you have. Uh, and then it has a ball on the top to which a arm has another ball on the other side and can lock down uh, with another wing nut. So uh, this is a fully uh, movable arm that can swing all the way around 360. Um, and then on the other end, on this kit, it has a GoPro mount. So uh, if you're ever out riding and you've tried to finick, you know, one of those GoPro cage mounts, you can you end up either having 20 different connections and, and angles to put together to make it look at the angle you want. Um, or you can just use this one mount, clamp it on, loosen it, put it where you want it, tighten it down, and you're done. Um, and so no more screwdrivers to tighten the GoPro threads, no more uh, pliers to undo the tightening that you did. Uh, this is a really elegant, simple solution that you can use. And then it's interswappable. So you can take that, have other RAM mount accessories, um, a tablet mount if you're doing GPS stuff, a camera mount if you're going to put a, an actual DSLR camera on there. Uh, you can put uh, just all sorts of different things on these RAM mounts, and they're used all across the country in all different types of applications for uh, emergency services and airline services. They all use them. They're all proven. This is high-quality stuff, and it's guaranteed it's not going to fail you. Next up, we have, for the guy that likes to make their car straight up drip, we have the LED halo light kit from Luminate. That is L-L-U-M-E-N and then the number eight RGB LED halo light kit. It is programmable. It can run in multiple colors. So basically what it is, it's an insert that goes around your uh, goes around your headlights for uh, additional lighting. You want to do like showstopper type stuff. It is a very, very slick package. Uh, that is Luminate. Just imagine lighted whips for your headlights. That's right. Yeah. You want to be the sickest guy out there? Got to flossy that thing up, man. <laughs> Drop that bling. Absolutely. All right. So next up, we have our Tusk wheel bearing greaser tool. So uh, a number of years ago, uh, these tools started making the rounds in the UTV industry. Uh, and what they are is uh, you take your wheel off uh, the hub. And you take the, I believe you take the castle nut off and whatnot, and then you shove this into the hub, and then you add your grease gun to it, and it will introduce the grease from within the hub instead of trying to pack it in from the outside. So you just pump, pump, pump until it starts to squeeze out, and then you know you're done. Pull the tool out, go to the next hub, do the same thing. Uh, it'll save you hours upon hours of, of bearing greasing uh, that used to be in the old days a manual process. So, uh, and <clears throat> when they first came out, they were like 80, 65 to 80 bucks uh, and Tusk has brought that uh, through their industrial power uh, of making accessories brought that price down to 15 bucks and it's kind of just a no-brainer yep and last on the uh, on the list here is the GoPro smart remote so something we have both complained about fantastic <laughs> product fantastic idea yeah so this is nothing new this has been around for a long time uh, ever since the hero cameras uh, got remote uh, connectivity options uh, and what it is is simply uh, all the buttons on your camera, but in your pocket. We all have experience with GoPros. The vast majority of people who go out and ride, we've got experience with GoPros. I run the GoPro app. Um, when you're out in the toolies and stuff, sometimes connectivity can be a little bit of an issue. Uh, I've used the term buggy. It's not necessarily buggy. I'm just not very smart. But this uh, <laughs> this little handheld remote is an absolute lifesaver. You don't want to you don't want to miss out on some content, and uh, that. Yeah, a lot of times yeah. you just are in the situation. You're in the trail, you're on the obstacle, you're in the muck, you're something, and you want to capture that moment. And if you've properly placed your cameras, you can do so, but to escape the moment, you would ruin the moment. Yeah. And being able just to hit the record button and wait that two seconds for the, the beep beep to come through um, is a lifesaver. Yeah. And the thing that I love most about it is you can actually clip it to the key of your UTV mm -hmm. as opposed to having to pull out your phone, open the app, start, restart. It almost, you know, it, it can, you don't want to lose your phone. <laughs> right. I've done that. I've dropped my phone in the rig while trying to, con uh, trying to link while yep. driving. Not smart, <laughs> but not recommended. Not don't recommended. do that. Do not yeah. operate your phone while driving. Look, I'm a professional. So, <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it is a slam dunk of a tool. I do not own one, but rest assured within the next 90 days, I will own <laughs> one. So, uh, the GoPro smart remote, uh, does have a lanyard slash, uh, keychain 
uh, attachment to it, which also replaces the hole in the body, which then ocu- is occupied by the charging cord. Yeah. Um, and so uh, that would be my only drawback on that. If you're somebody that's just really pin- finicky about your connections and wires and what you're going to have on the table, uh, it is a proprietary connection. Uh, but that being said, it doesn't run out of charge very often so it's not a big deal uh the other thing that's important to know it's not just a record stop stop button you can do it uh, you can change the camera modes from the remote Ooh. you can start and stop time lapses um you can do a very variable number of different things with the cameras from the smart remote so i have to ask the stupid question because i don't have a lot of experience with it but uh, as a guy that has a hero 7 has hero uh Hero 4 sessions, you can connect to multiple cameras at the same time, correct? Yeah, I believe you can connect up to 50 cameras or something silly like That's that. That's a lot. That's a lot. Well, That's I mean, in certain you know situations, there are vloggers and people that have 10, 15 cameras all running at once. So I want to see that. <laughs> yeah. uh, just go look for whoever's got the most viewers on YouTube. You'll that, It'll be those guys. Gotcha. Um, That's so, kind of that Seinfeld show. I've noticed they use a lot of GoPros. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, GoPro Smart Remote uh, is a just... If anyone that you know has a GoPro, that is a slam dunk uh, stocking stuffer. Absolute slam dunk. Again, these were all on our website along with our uh, Christmas deals. They will all be available on our website, sidebysideguys.com. Look for them there. All right, getting into the third topic of the episode, we're going to talk about gift recommendations. So we're just taking that stocking stuffer idea moving it one step further to where we're not confining by size or dollar amount. Uh, we're kind of just throwing every caution to the wind and recommending things that we think are awesome and badass. And uh, we would love to personally receive from our significant others. No question. Uh, <laughs> so wife, um, step your game up. <laughs> I wasn't a part of this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh, we kind of split this up into categories. Um, and the first category we have is recovery. Yeah, we could probably dedicate an entire episode to where we're about to go down. Yeah, but, uh, we narrowed we'll try it down. to keep it somewhat short. Yeah, we narrowed it down to some very specific categories here. Yeah, so uh, on recovery, uh, so for all these categories, we, we kind of just did both Ian and I a pick uh, for the category. Uh, that's not to say that this one thing is the best of all of them or of the certain category or the only thing that you should consider in a category. Uh, just picks that we've come up with in that category that were top of mind. So in recovery, um, my pick was the Factor 55 ProLink XTV. So this is, again, goes back to my discussion about liking the Factor 55 products being proven, tested scientifically. Um, And then the ProLink is a closed loop system uh, recovery shackle. So uh, this goes on the end of your winch line, uh, and it is a billet aluminum closed loop for recovery. And so uh, this system will allow you to use the built-in eyelet on your line, or you can splice in your own. Uh, And then it has a stopper on it as well. So as you're pulling your recovery uh, uh, lead in, uh, this will become the stop on the front of that uh, fair lead as well. Uh, So being closed looped, you'll need a soft shackle or something to attach whatever the device it is that you're you're securing it to. Uh, So your recovery bag will need a soft shackle or a hard shackle to interface with this device um but it's really clean it's not going to fail there's no moving parts um it's stronger than hell and uh looks good yep and it comes in a variety of colors to match your your ride yep i have something a little bit similar the worn winch accessory kit uh you can find that at wellerracing.com it has a uh, snatch block max capacity is nine thousand pounds which is a lot for utv uh it has a, c- a carrier bag comes with worn winching gloves protection protection's key uh, the other thing it comes with is a uh, a shackle rated at 4500 pounds uh very 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 affordable um very critical if you're doing any sort of mountain riding, uh, rock crawling, anything of that nature, you want to have the ability to get yourself out of trouble, especially if you're riding alone. Yeah, and and to be clear, this is kind of an introductory kit. It's not right. the big boy kit. It's not the the solve all problems kit. Uh, this is the I'm just getting into yep. it, and I need the option to use a shackle or a snatch block or whatever in the situation. Um, and uh, this is a great introductory to that, and it's a great option for somebody that doesn't know um, a lot about recovery to buy a kit for somebody that's getting into it. Yeah, it's compact and it's affordable. Yep. Uh, all right. So next category was comfort. 
And so for my pick, I picked the Tusk seat heaters, uh, which come in at $39.99. So the reason I, there's a whole bunch of different seat warming kits out there. Uh, there's seat manufacturers that offer them like PRP and Simpson and all those guys. Uh, they offer these kits in their seats as well. Um, but the reason I picked the Tusk uh, seat heaters uh, is simply the price point. Like if you've ever been out in the cold, you went for a snow ride, if you went you know, for a trail ride and it got wet and rainy and cold and whatever. And you just were just, your bones were chattering. Uh, a warm seat will make a huge difference in your experience to make it just a little bit better, uh, allow you to go a little bit further. Um, and at 40 bucks, uh, it's kind of a no brainer. Um, and so highly recommended to explore that option. If you're out riding in cold weather, even if you have an enclosed cab that doesn't heat the air around you, nor the object you're sitting on. So yeah. this is what that does. So my recommendation for comfort is the G-Force off-road racing seats. And to uh, circle back on what we touched on earlier, uh, there's a fifth, there's a promotion currently 15% off using product code side by side guys, SXS guys, all lowercase. And that can be found at G G F offroadstore.com. So as it pertains to, uh, these seats, if you are a wife looking to buy your husband something for Christmas, if you're a husband looking to buy your wife something for Christmas, you buy these seats. Your significant other will thank you. It adds a level of comfort while you're going. It's night and day, really night right. and day over uh, the stock stock seats. So it's kind of like buying your wife an Xbox for Christmas. You know, it's like it's for you. If you're, it's for <laughs> you. You know, but they will benefit. But it plays DVDs. Yeah, yeah, and and it's kind of like your wife. It has Netflix. Right, right. So th- this this works both ways. I I just feel that uh, you know massive upgrade over the stock over the stock seats. I've got thousands thousands of miles all 1,000, maybe 1,500 on these seats. They were fantastic. I'm a bigger guy. I'm six foot four. And these things just really, really saved my back. And just to so. be clear, those seats have a, a side bolster on them to keep your waist in the seat during cornering and, and obstacles and things like that. So right. um, if you're a super large person that is wider than the typical yeah. seat, yeah. I would I would say, you know, go sit in them first and all that. But uh, definitely take a, advantage of the savings this season. Yeah, I think one underrated thing, and, and I'm obviously I'm talking as it pertains to a YXZ, but the shoulder space on those seats are fantastic. I fit in them great, but I also gain some leg room when I upgraded to these seats. So, you know, if you're looking to buy your wife, is up, that because they were tilted up and back, yeah, or was it, it because it, it, it actually felt, mounted back further? Well, it slid a little bit further back. Like okay. it, it kind of had a bit, a little bit of an incline. It was just a much, much more comfortable riding position. I, I couldn't recommend these things more. And if you're looking to buy your wife something for Christmas, buy her these seats. Tell her how comfortable she's going to be. Like I said, it's kind of like buying her an Xbox for Christmas. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, next up is safety. So uh, this category could be taken a number of different ways, whether that be rigs, you know, accessories to keep it safe and keep you on the road or, you know, your personal safety or all those different things. But uh, the one thing that, um, you know, I'm always considering in the back of my head when I have my family out in the woods is their personal safety. And so uh, coming uh, from the Savage UTV belt case and how phenomenal of a a box that is, um, I can't recommend the Savage UTV first aid kit enough. So you're getting that weatherproof, waterproof, dustproof, case that you can guarantee nothing inside of it will ever get touched. Um, but you're also, uh, bringing a full first response, first aid kit with you. Uh, so that comes with all the antiseptic. It comes with the gauzing, the dressing the comes with shears, um, all that basic stuff that you would need to treat, uh, leg wounds, arm wounds. If you are rolled over and you forget to keep your arms in and you slice your arm on a rock or, or bounce your head because you weren't wearing a helmet or, uh, tear your leg up because you stumbled out and fell on a rock, you know, those types of situations happen and, uh, having at least something to help aid in the recovery of that person back to camp, um, is going to be a game changer for when you get to the hospital. We also have for safety a recommendation of the G-Force Off-Road Full Face Air Charge Helmet. So for anybody that's not familiar with the Air Charge Helmet, there's an attachment that you can put up on the top. It's kind of towards the top back of the helmet. And it's a little attachment that you can plug in to get fresh air, which is really, really critical when you're driving on dusty roads. So safety off obviously is very, very critical. But there's other things that this, that this helmet... Uh, that I've found because I, I'm not always the best about wearing a helmet when I go out and ride. But this time of year, you know, when it's anywhere from about uh, riding temperatures can be anywhere from about 20 to 55 degrees, I don't use a windshield. And this is a full face helmet with a drop down screen and it I couldn't ride 
without that. For sure. You know, I mean, you'd be in a baklava. I mean, I've ridden with uh, with uh, motocross helmets, motocross goggles for a long, long time, and the actual comfort level of the G-Force helmet as it pertains to riding in cold weather is night and day. It's like essentially like riding in a uh, with a windshield. Right. And then during the summertime, you got bugs and stuff like that. I would much rather take that to the visor than take that to the face. I've experienced that so many times. It's ridiculous. And uh, to circle back, that is a G-Force branded product, 15% off using the product code Side by Side Guys. Yeah, I was out this last fall with uh, some buddies riding and I got a, I want to say it was a Hornet in my, behind my goggle strap and my helmet and a full face helmet, uh, avoids those un- awkward and dangerous situations. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So next up we have lighting and that could be light bars, light cubes, cabin lighting, whatever. Um, and top of mind, um, we've talked a little bit about sector seven already on their mounts. They use their mounts on their spectrum mirrors and those spectrum mirrors, uh, you talked about having them on your YXZ. Um, They are probably the most expensive mirrors in the industry, but they are for good reason. They are literally brighter than my light bar, my headlights on high, my light cubes, everything put together. These mirrors are literally brighter than all of those put together. Yep. Yep. I have a lot of experience with those things. Uh, I have, I have hit them at 60 plus miles an hour going down mountain trails. I've hit them on uh, tree branches, anything low hanging that might be in the way it hits it. It moves the mirror, you move it right back. It doesn't impact it. I mean, literally if you hit a tree, uh, with that mirror while going about 65 miles an hour, it will cause that tree to bleed. Seriously. (laughs) Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. It is ridiculously tough. The thing I really like about those mirrors is that they're a convex mirror, so they are per, they're oh, they're showing yeah. you a lot more image Field than you would normally have on a flat mirror. Yeah, um, the size of the mirror, its surface itself, combined with that convex, uh, they're a fairly large mirror, mm-hmm. um, uh, while still maintaining a great look and appeal to them. Yeah, uh, but just the viewing surface on those is just second to none. I can't. Like, there's nothing to compare it to. No, no. I've had people that looked at those mirrors, asked me what they were. I explained it to them, and then they look and see how much, you know, it's it's not the cheapest mirror out there. We've covered that. Right. And uh, people look at it and kind of get a little bit of a sticker shock, and I say, get in the car. Sit in the driver's seat and take a look at that. And then the second they get out, they're like, I must have it. <laughs> so the thing to remember is that not only are you getting a billet, top of the line, amazing mirror, out of that package, you're also getting like fifteen hundred dollars worth of lighting out of that mirror. So those those mirrors have two light pods built into them. One shoots outside and one shoots forward. And if you were to put that lighting into practice on accessory lighting on your vehicle, you're talking about buying a set of pods that are in the neighborhood of around three hundred dollars. And then you're talking about a light bar that would be at least twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. And so the lighting on those is just phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh- from personal experience, uh, how I had mine mounted on my YXE and how I had mine wired, mine was actually wired because it basically every bit of lighting on my car was aftermarket. I had aftermarket headlights. I had an aftermarket uh, lighting bar. And then the last but not least component was these six Sector 7 mirrors. And so what I did is we wired them in to my brights. Right. So you'd run A lot your of just, guys do that. Yeah. Yep. You go to your low beams, and as soon as you turn your brights on, the sectors kick on in conjunction with your high beams. But the, the main thing was is the field of view was fantastic, but the main thing that I noticed is it was a less draw on my stator than my bar. Really? Yeah. So they were more efficient. Yeah. So the YXZ had a real time on what your stator was putting out and uh, the draw on the sectors was substantially lower than uh, the light bar I was running at the time. So, and that's, that's huge. Yeah, definitely. Especially if you're using OEM batteries. Yeah. uh, That's going to be a big deal. Right. Which uh, that brings me to the uh, my recommendation. That is the Illuminate Laser Light Bar. And this is a relatively new technology. I want to say it's somewhere within the last six months to a year, give or take. And uh, I don't know a heck of a lot about it, aside from the fact that I'm seeing some just utterly ridiculous footage posted online of what these things are capable of. You're talking uh, some of these light bars, these specific light bars that are a dual row laser. Uh, I'm seeing pictures of these mounted on a machine and you can actually pick up objects like a house or tree or something like that at roughly the better part of three quarters of a mile. That's nuts. 
That that's utterly in a focus beam. Yeah. yeah, yeah, focus beam. Absolutely. Just and and the field of view is fantastic. Along with that, uh, that is Luminate L L U M E N, and then the number eight laser light bar. They have two variations of it. They have a thirty-two inch and a fifty-two inch, and they range from on the thirty-two inch. You're looking at four fifty nine ninety nine, and then five fifty nine ninety nine for the fifty two inch. I think the fifty two inch is probably going to be more catered towards the X three, something like that. I've seen those big. I've seen I've seen X threes with uh, fifty five inch light, wide lights. So uh, the fifty two inch might be a little bit too big for certain machines. But uh, you know what? If you're if you're a guy that can DIY, you can fit it in there. And, and just to be clear, these aren't on their website yet. So um, yeah. They they're going to be coming up for sale soon, I think. But uh, uh, be on the lookout for them. If this is more of a tip to kind of just see as they come out what they're doing and how they're impacting the lighting game, uh, they're going to be probably a little bit more affordable than the high end, uh, super bright stuff that you see out there. Um, so definitely take a look at it. Keep it in the back of your mind if you're looking at a light bar here in the near future. Um, maybe you know hold off just a little bit longer to see that product come out and make its way to your dealer. So up next is the storage category. Um, this could be storage on the person, on the UTV, whatever. Um, and I wanted to throw out uh, the option of the Axia Alloys Modular Roof Rack. This literally just came out, I think, a week ago. Um, and what this is, is a modular roof rack system for your UTV. It comes in multiple widths, so you can buy for the appropriate size of your machine. Um, and on top of that, it's also with adjustable. So the tracking on the roof rack mounts are a slider type to which you can, if you have a custom cage, you can adjust for that. It comes with all the brackets and the Axia um, clamps and all that stuff. But you buy into the uh, width of your machine that is appropriate in the cage, in the in the rack, and then you buy additional sections of that rack to extend it as short or as long as you want. So if you have a two-seater and a custom cage to where the roof is actually longer than a normal two-seater, um, or if you have an OEM two-seater where it's a little bit shorter, or if you have a four-seater and you have a custom rack there and it extends in a box fashion really far long um, and wide, uh, this would be a great solution for you. And it has a really great design aesthetic that adds a little bit of ruggedness look to your machine that you don't really get in any other kind of straight bar uh, roof rack system. So right. check that out. My recommendation is very specific to a specific machine. It is for the Can-Am Maverick Sport. We've talked about that machine a little bit in the past. Uh, it's kind of very likely an ascending machine, especially for the trail rider, the guys that like to go out, uh, want a kind of a narrow footprint. Uh, so the Razorback Off-Road develops, it's called the Expedition Rack, and it retails at 949 and I've seen this thing. I got. I was at an event in Idaho, and I got eyes on this thing. It is. Uh, it's got a storage compartment up on top of it, and the the, uh, the actual tubes on it. You could actually mount accessories to it that are exposed to the outside elements. But it's also got a flip up in the back that is locking. So in the in the event that you wanted to put some luggage, you want to put some uh, storage bag or anything like that inside of this, you can actually store it, lock it, and uh, you could somebody could actually touch it. They could reach in there and access it and touch the actual thing. Things that you have stored in that bed, but until, unless they could actually break that thing open, because it is a locking mechanism, it is secure. Right. So Yeah, and just to be clear, the recommendations for the Maverick Sport, but they have rack systems for a number of different models right. of UTVs, including Polaris, Can-Am, CF Moto, and, and others. So uh, if you've ever wanted to turn your back bed into more of a utility space and not just a cooler carrier, uh, highly recommended that you check out RazorbackOffRoad.com. All right, next up we have maintenance. Uh, so again, I'm gonna continue my Savage UTV theme uh, and recommend the UTV belt case, uh, but with the toolkit. So they offer just the case. If you want just a hollow case to put uh, multiple belts in because you can fit one on each side of the, of the clamshell. Um, they also offer it with the foam inserts and a toolkit. So it'll come with uh, a pair of long needle nose pliers, um, uh, razor blades, um, the appropriate tools to get the clutch housing off, um, all that stuff uh, included with the kit so that when you are in the need to repair that that belt and replace it, you have the tools you need to do it. Uh, so if you ever totally grenaded a belt inside of the clutch housing, you'll know that those braids within the belt can 
all a lot of times get caught up around the sheaves. Yep. And uh, it's near impossible to do without uh, long new long needle neck pliers and some some sort of cutting tool. Uh, and the razor blade is nice and thin, so you can get in between the bearing and all that stuff. Uh, but that's uh, not a situation you want to be working all day on. You want to be riding. So uh, having the appropriate tools and not having to carry them in a bag or whatever, just leave it in the tool case, which is the UTV belt case, which is hidden wherever you want to put it. And uh, no questions asked, you're ready to do it. Yep. My recommendation for a maintenance is specific to a machine, just like the last one. It's specific to the YXZ. Now, we all know that the YXZ is the stone cold Steve Austin of the UTV industry. It is incredibly <laughs> tough, incredibly tough. If there is a somewhat kind of a weak point, it is the tie rods. And I actually think that that was developed intentionally. My recommendation for a YXZ tie rod is the Weller Racing Kit. You can get it at WellerRacing.com. It retails at three twenty three twenty two. And uh, Zach and I actually have a little experience putting this on it actually took us longer to prepare for the job than it did to actually replace the tie rod super easy to get it aligned afterwards it was uh i mean we figured it was going to be a two-hour project uh, had we not been uh so we, talking sp- so we spent time. two hours talking and then a yeah. few minutes working on it. Yeah, I would say once the machine was up in the air and the tire was off, we probably had about 15 minutes into, sw- into swapping It wasn't too out. complicated. Yeah, it was very, very simple. So I could not recommend that And just that to more. speak to them, tough. they were really, really beefy. Like they're not just an, a step up from OEM. They're like three steps up from OEM. There's three steps up from OEM. Uh, if you're carrying these as a uh, for a precautionary measure... Like if you're going up into the mountains and you want an extra tie rod, you actually could use that tie rod as a weapon. It is, Pretty sure you could kill a bear with it. You absolutely could. I yeah. have. So, <laughs> you have? <laughs> yeah. Was it man bear pig? No. Oh, no, dang. Was, <laughs> uh, all right. So next up is performance. Uh, and this is just, you know, whether that be better handling, more power, whatever. Uh, you know, an easy pick for me was something that I'm more curious about than I am anything else. Uh, I'm kind of excited to maybe get my hands on it and see the impact that it gives. Uh, But what it is is a solution for the guy that wants to um, improve throttle response uh, without having to replace or flash the ECU. So uh, all pretty sure all of the UTVs nowadays are fly by wire as far as their gas and, and, and the grass or the gas pedal throttle response. And so uh, what this does is it goes between the communication between your pedal and the ECU and it changes the values from zero to a hundred based off of uh, the programming that you select in the unit. So um, it makes getting a little bit extra power out of your, off the gate, out of the gate, um, easier to achieve without spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars in the ECU reflash and then the performance upgrades that go along with that. Um, and again, this is not improving the pe- performance of your machine. It's improving the throttle response of your machine. Uh, and it has different modes as far as like uh, eco modes to keep the gas you know, lean uh, when you're just trail riding and putting around the farm or whatever. And then it has performance modes where um, zero to 60 comes a lot faster than it would normally with the stock uh, ECU mapping of the, the gas pedal values. My recommendation for performance is a Pacific Northwest company called Treel Performance. They make what's called the Sport 3-inch exhaust for the Can-Am. And uh, we, it sounds like we're going to get our hands on one of these things, throw it, possibly throw it onto my car and uh, check out what it's all about. But when you look at uh, when you look at the specs on this exhaust, there's just a lot of stuff to get excited about. It sounds like you're going to be shaving off anywhere between 25 to 35 pounds over the stock exhaust. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but the stock cage on an X3, I believe, is right about 60 pounds. And then when you switch to an aftermarket, you're going to gain anywhere from about 30 to 45, sometimes upwards of like 50 pounds on that cage. So if you're if if weight savings is critical to you this is a i mean shaving 35 pounds is no joke on one of these cars and uh place to get this is at uh, superior motorsports they're running a 20 percent off deal on the trio exhaust and they also have a link to the youtube uh uh, youtube link of this thing it's it's exhaust note and it just it sounds fantastic i'm really Really throaty really slappy yeah i'm really looking forward to getting my hands on this kind of see how it does but they're they're you know from a horsepower number standpoint what you would gain over stock obviously we talked about the weight savings but it sounds like there's going to be somewhere between uh 25 35 horsepower is what they're claiming and that's it's obviously going to be my guess is at the flywheel, but uh, yeah, and specific to your machine, yeah, and specific to your machine, specific to your tune, and uh, you know the Trio Performance exhaust will work with a number of aftermarket tuners as well. You know, 
So if you have any questions, reach out to uh, Superior Motorsports, uh, ask for Will, be happy to get you taken care of in regards to that, uh, that particular exhaust. All right, up next is our utility segment. And this could be just any kind of utility device that makes uh, getting a job done easier. Uh, and my pick was the Assault Industries Adventure Rack. Uh, and what this is, is a spare tire carrier and or utility shelf for the back of your rig. So what it does is it spans the gap uh, over at, at the top line of your bed. So uh, if you're talking about a Polaris, you're talking right at the top of the rear plastics, so you're talking Can-Am, uh, you're talking right at the back of that shoulder uh, behind the seats. And it's a uh, metal cage that goes out to the back of the bed to the end where the tail is. And then it has uh, some, some uh, hydraulic arms that will hold uh, the whole shelf up in the air for you. And they're strong enough to hold a spare tire. So you can put your spare tire flat instead of upright, like a lot of guys have to do. And it improves your vision uh, by putting it flatter. It puts your center of gravity lower because you're you're flat instead of tall. And uh, it, but you can still pop it up, get underneath, use the bed for a utility storage area, and just simply click it back down and be on your way. Yeah. My recommendation is the Boxo 57-piece universal tool kit. Um, the Boxo, it, it's it's a little spendy, um, but you can go check it out at boxousa.com. And I don't think there's anything left out on this kit. I'm very, very impressed with it. Um, we touched on it in one of the first episodes where we were talking about overland travel. And obviously, you have to be able to repair on trail and my strategy for building an overland kit was uh, I wanted uh, X amount of stuff to put on the car and then I shaved off 50% and then I tried to shave off another 25%. And the reason that I do that is for weight savings and also just not bogging down the car with just so much gear that it's always in your way. Well, this Boxo kit, and you can check it out on the website, is very, very small, very compact, but it, you know, Looking at the kit and what it covers, there's there's nothing left out. If you needed to do any sort of trail recovery, any sort of trail repair, it's very likely that 57 piece tool kit is going to have what you need. Yeah, and it, it's not very big, like you said. It's it's roughly the size of buying a Subway sub and throwing it in your car. So yeah, um, you know, wrenches, uh, ratchets, hammers, screwdrivers, all that stuff is in there, um, and we'll take care of most of your needs. All right, so. Um, that is on our website right now. You can go to sidebysideguys.com and look up that article for any of the links and imagery that you want to maybe dive in a little deeper on those recommendations and see if they're uh, something you want. Um, so anyways, this is our holiday episode. This is us trying to give back to the community in some sort of way that, uh, we can be universally beneficial and finding deals for people during this buying season, uh, having recommendations for solutions that maybe you didn't think about um, are all ways of us giving back to you. Uh, but this holiday season, um, is definitely, it's important to remember those that are less fortunate than us that can drive around $40,000 UTVs on the weekends. And um, I just encourage you to take the opportunity to visit your local food bank, uh, homeless shelter, or any other kind of charity that you have that helps the less fortunate. Uh, try to give back either monetarily or with your time, which is even more important. Uh, the volunteer aspect of charity is um, you know, priceless when it comes to the impact that you can make in your community. So uh, take the opportunity to see what's in your area and, and what the needs are in your area. Um, and along those lines, while I was kind of doing my own research on that topic, uh, I found out that you can also adopt a soldier. So if you're in an area where there's an Air Force base, a military base, um, anything where soldiers get stationed throughout the year, uh, it's always a good idea to support the troops and their efforts and their uh, sacrifices. And during this time of year, a lot of those guys don't get to be with their family. Um, and for many of them, it's hard to do the remote you know, time over Skype and all that. It's not necessarily the greatest fit. So uh, a lot of these young guys are coming straight out of high school, going straight into the to the military, and um, they don't have anyone to connect with. And this time of year is one of the highest times of year for 
um, depression and suicide and things like that. And uh, if you have the opportunity and the uh, resources to do so, uh, I encourage you to Google uh, Adopt a Soldier and see if there's any of those opportunities available in your area uh, to see if um, somebody that's away from home, uh, that you can bring a little bit of the home experience back to them and invite them in for the holiday season. Yeah. Uh, My recommendation for a charity is something that my wife and I have donated to a couple of times over the years, a few times over the years. It's called A Walk on Water. And The Walk on Water can be found on Instagram. What A Walk on Water is kind of near and dear to my heart because they work with special needs kids. And as a father of a special needs boy, uh, what what it's kind of, like I said, it's kind of near and dear to my heart, but what they do is they put on events where they take special needs children out. Uh, uh, I don't even think it's children. I've seen uh, footage where they have, it looks like kids uh, all the way up to maybe 18 or 21, and they take them surfing. And it's a, it's a professional uh, surfer professional, uh, I don't know if it's like a counselor or something of that nature, but it is a, uh, they get to ride on the front of the board. Some of the kids will get up, actually stand up and they'll ride in. It's, uh, I, I absolutely insist you check it out. Easiest way to find them is on Instagram and, uh, just an amazing charity, amazing charity. And they've been around a while too. So do they operate through the, through the winter part of the year? And, oh, I believe so. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, it's all based out of Southern California. So okay. down so there, they serve pretty bad. much year round. And yeah. I think they're starting to put, put some events on the Atlantic. I don't know if it's out of the Carolinas or out of Florida, but uh, yeah, they are starting to expand out in the East Coast. That's cool. I'll walk on water. All right. So to wrap things up, um, you know, we don't really have any events uh, going on per se. There is the Baja 1000 this weekend. Uh, where they do have um, all the different classes of trucks, including UTVs. So if you're into off-road racing uh, specifically, I encourage you to check out uh, score-international.com, I believe believe is their website. Yeah, it's a score race. Uh, We're getting some uh, feedback on the race as we speak. It sounds like they just got an astronomical amount of rain, and I've actually seen footage where there's snow in there, so there's been some road washouts, and uh, they had to delay the race, I believe, about 24 hours. But it looks like they're up and running. Yeah, they were doing road repair yesterday. I yeah. Think, so. yeah, I think the bikes, I got a notification earlier. They let the bikes go before sunrise. So oh, they're really? running. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, check that out and uh, good luck to all the racers out there. Stay and safe. Uh, hopefully we don't uh, see too many <laughs> catastrophic flips like we saw last year. Yeah, we got some people up in the Pacific Northwest that are running that too. So we're going to keep tabs on that. That's cool. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, this has been our holiday episode. Uh, we hope that you've enjoyed it. Uh, maybe got a pick or two to go buy for your loved one or for yourself. Uh, there's some great deals to be had this holiday season. And uh, next episode, again, we're going to kind of look back at the year and see what uh, the year's brought us as far as personally and industry-wide uh, um, on the UTV scene. So if you have any questions, suggestions, or um, topics that maybe you want to hear us talk about, um, and run our mouths at for a little bit over an hour. Which we're good at. Uh, let us know. So uh, our website, sidebysideguys.com, does have a contact form where you can send questions and submissions, uh, as well as DM us on social. So Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, uh, and Facebook. Just let us know uh, what your thoughts are. We uh, really encourage feedback. That that is a big part of what we want to be accomplishing. So um, feedback is great. We help people out. People ask me uh, fairly regularly, you know, questions on, you know, uh, which, what should I do? Why is my machine performing this way? What part should I replace this with? Um, Who should I contact because of X, Y, Z or whatever? Um, You know, throw us your questions. We're happy to help and uh, happy to connect you to whoever you need to be connected to. Yep. We've got about a week until Thanksgiving, uh, biggest travel day of the year. Everybody stay safe out there. Yep, for sure. So. And, uh, you know, with the uh, up here in the Northwest, we've gotten cold pretty quick. So it's always a good reminder to drive a little bit slower and a little bit more cautiously, uh, especially with your tow rigs. Uh, you know, moisture is a big enemy to traction. So um, be careful out there, tow safely and have a great time out experiencing nature and, and the outdoors in your machine. Have a great Thanksgiving, everyone. Thanks for joining me, Ian. Thanks for having me. Peace.